it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and I'm here with a different video this is I guess really vlog number one for Chicago so hello welcome if you're seeing this it should be the day I am flying to Chicago to see Emily from color me impressed in fact when this video premieres I should be in the air as we speak so I figured I would show you the fun stuff that I'm bringing. I got some requests to show what coloring supplies I'm bringing, because of course this is basically a color vacation, but I figured I'd also show you like the games, which you're seeing, but I'm gonna talk you through all of them. I just think it's fun. It's something different, but this is gonna kind of be my off topic video of the month, but it's like semi off topic. So I'm live in my guest room where I have been staging all the packing stuff. So excuse the weird piles. That's like our pile of day of clothing. So like what we're wearing on the plane and otherwise this room is just filled with blankets and noodles. We call the guest room noodles room because we don't have guests very often, especially now. So she lays up on the piles of blankets every day. So fun stuff. Let's see. I'm bringing two Squishmallows. <laughs> so I love these things and I figure I will bring them as my like pillows. So this is Winnie. She's a walrus. I love walrus. I love sea critters. So she's going to be in my packed bag. And then I'm bringing Stacy the squid in my carry-on because I have anxiety. So she's coming with me. Also, it's so cute. I don't know if you've seen Squishmallow. Also, I'm really close to the camera, so it's like awkward for me to hold things up. But I don't know if you've seen Squishmallow before. They all come with their little stories on their tags and I take the tags off to keep them safe. But Stacy the Squid has social anxiety and I think that's the, the sweetest thing and it's so cute. So I'm gonna bring her with me because I have anxiety too and we can be anxious together. Okay, so down below I have my backpack. The backpack is not packed and off to the side is my suitcase. This trip, it's only what, four days? Five nights, four, four nights, five days, whatever. It's a short one. So Sam and I are sharing one ginormous suitcase where we're putting all of our clothes and in this case, all of these games and some other like books and stuff and surprises for Emily. I don't think she'll have time to see this video before I get there, but I don't want her to. So I'm not gonna show you everything that surprises for Emily. And then Sam's bringing a backpack. He's bringing like his Switch. So while we're coloring, he'll be playing on his Switch and probably a reading book. Oh, I forgot to bring my reading book. That's okay. Um, and I'm bringing this. So in my backpack so far, I always bring what I call my crap notebook or apparently junk notebook I wrote on there. This is where like I just write notes. I have post-its. I Everything random is in my junk notebook. And this notebook, I don't care if I just like write in the middle of a page, but I don't allow myself to do that with like anything else. Is anybody else like that? Even my bullet journal, like sometimes I'll do rough drafts in the junk notebook before I put it in the bullet journal. So this I also like to keep around in case we have to like keep score for any games or make notes. So I always have a junk notebook. It's also great because these are usually like 10 cents or a quarter at back to school time and I just buy a dollar's worth and they last me all throughout the year. So my junk notebook is in there. Also, my bullet journal will be coming with me. So a fun thing, I'll show you one spread. I like to... Whenever I go on vacation, I make a memory page in my bullet journal. So this is my Chicago memory page. So it just has every day of the week written out. And then I try to write down all the very random things. So obviously the big stuff, like we're flying in. I don't necessarily have to write that, but maybe like something funny will happen at the airport or maybe something not funny. I don't know, knock on wood. And I'll write that kind of stuff down. So not necessarily the big overall stuff, but like the little tiny memories that I could otherwise forget. I love writing down random things like that because then when I read it back, I'll be like, oh my goodness, that like is so specific and it sparks memories. So this is the format for this. Um, we're only gonna be there in the very early morning on the 24th, so that's why it's a short day and it just like formatting wise worked out. But I always bring my bullet journal. This also just has like my bingo list for Patreon, so when I'm coloring, I always look at bingo, and it has my calendar and all that fun stuff. So, always bring that with me. And finally, in my bag already, is my iPad. So, whenever I travel, I put, I download stuff from Netflix and Disney Plus and things like that onto the iPad, and this is my main 
uh, entertainment at the airport and in the plane. And it usually is Great British Bake Off. So I'm like actually four seasons behind on Bake Off. I don't know why. Probably because I haven't traveled in a long time. So I have a season all queued up and ready to watch on the way. And what's nice about this trip is like I'm going to somebody's house with internet. So if I finish all my episodes on the way there, I can just download the rest for the way back. So I have that with me. What else? Okay, coloring first or games first? I'm going to do coloring first in case that you hate this and then you can leave. So I was having the hardest time deciding because obviously Emily also colors. So in theory, I am positive that she would be willing to share if I needed anything. But as a fellow colorist, I also know that I would feel awkward sharing. Like I would do it, but it would just feel weird. So I personally feel awkward sharing with her. She offered to share. I was like, mm, I don't know. So I am bringing my new set of Tao trees. This is my backup set. My current set I'm using is starting. Some of the colors are starting to go dry. So I figured I would just use the whole new set. To be honest, I have not even swatched these though. So it's quite possible that some of them are not working. Uh, I've only had that happen with once out of my previous two whole sets. So essentially one marker out of 200 didn't work. And I think it was just one side of one marker, but so my fingers are crossed, but that is what I'm bringing as my main marker set. I was also debating bringing my little pre-made packs for all the color by number books. But my fear with those was that I've had maybe two of them total yellow and I don't like if I yellow in color by number books, it's sad, but it's kind of whatever. But I don't like the idea of yellowing in other books. So I figured I wouldn't even bother with that. And again, I'm bringing these. These should work for everything. And I'm positive Emily will share if I need anything else. Then I'm also bringing this 12 pack of King Art glitter gel pen. I was wondering how I would get glitter and I think that this is just the most compact way to bring some glitter with me and this has all the good colors that I can basically match whatever I need. And again, I'm positive Emily will share if I need anything. I got these from Marshalls for $3.99. It seemed like a good deal. These work really nicely so far and they're compact enough for me to bring them. I'm also bringing some tabs. Always gotta have some tabs. And I am bringing this crayon case which I've shown you in hauls I'm finally going to use it so it's like a silicone case from Target and it opens like that and it fits tons in it so I'm bringing a washi tape I basically always bring washi tape too in case I need to fix something or it just has many purposes and I'm going to keep that right up top I bring a back scratcher I, I always have a back scratcher this one extends really long so in case I get an itch I will be prepared. So I actually bought like a six pack of these and put gave them out as stocking stuffers last year to like Sam and my dad and other people. And then I kept a few for myself. So I keep them all over. And in this notebook, or in this pencil case perfectly, fits my new bookmarks. So I thought this was a fun little addition. And also the size of it, it's nice and compact and like sturdy and it will actually keep the pencil case from being flippy floppy so i was like wow that's a fun bonus so then i bring this tool this is actually like a scraper for the cricut machine and i've had this tool for probably over 10 years and i use this for everything i don't understand what it is about this i rip washi tape with it i use it to peel things i just love having this with me it's very multi-purpose I use this instead of, cause I have long nails that are my natural nails. So like I'll open things with this instead of my real nails and things like that. I love it. I don't know if they make this anymore, but there's definitely scrapers out there for like Cricut machines and you can definitely find one of those. I recommend it. I also always bring a glass nail file around with me. This is just a random one I got on Amazon, I'm pretty sure, but glass nail files work the best for my nails and they're better for you um, to keep your nails healthy, which is another tip on how I mostly have been doing really great at keeping my nails healthy. And then the rest of this, I have my Arteza white gel pen, just one random gel pen because the white one is my favorite one. I have my two um, pens of the month for my bullet journal. 
black and orange for Halloween. So I'm just gonna bring in both of those. I might throw in one extra black pen, again, for using in my crap notebook and in case like we do other things like keep score or whatever. Uh, I bring my highlighter of the month, which is orange for Halloween also. And I just have a mechanical pencil. So that is what is in this case. And I'm gonna fill it right back up. I don't know if I'm gonna add anything else to the case. This is all I could think of. I'm filming this on the 13th, so I actually have one week to go, but I would rather be prepared early. But who knows, in theory, all of this could change, but I've been thinking about it for a long time, so I don't think it will change, or at least not very much. So there that case is. I'm just gonna throw that in my backpack. Okay, onto the coloring stuff. And actually, one other thing. So I bought this bad boy. This is a clipboard with storage and I'm very excited about this if you came to my live when was my live a week ago two weeks ago I don't know at this point it has to be at least two weeks ago because I think it was a week ago from when I'm filming I have recently reignited my interest in origami stars thank you Toll, for reminding me about origami stars but these are my star papers so I did some in that live and Emily was like, ooh, I'd like to try. And I was like, ooh, these should be great to like do in the airport while I'm just sitting and waiting around. They're really easy to multitask while you're making them. And I am a multitasker, so it helps me focus if I'm doing something else. So <laughs> I'm bringing my star papers and I couldn't figure out a really good way to store them or transport them because they're very long, as I think you can see, and they're pretty fragile because they're just paper. So I thought of one of these boys and I was like, oh man, that seems perfect. And I couldn't find, like, I'm pretty sure I owned one. I'm pretty sure my dad owned one and neither of us could find them. And then we went to Staples and they only had ones with like crazy handles and that was making it like four inches longer. But I ordered this one off of Amazon and it's perfect. It's almost too skinny actually, but it just clips close on the side so I don't have to worry about that big old handle. And in it, I have all of those star papers like I was saying. I'm probably gonna need to bring a Ziploc bag or tiny container for the stars I make, but that should be easy enough. And then I actually have four random Cali Arts in here and um, I plan on doing one color books, which I will show you in a second. And these are just from my original set of Cali Arts, the one that like all the blues are dried out, all the purples are dried out, um, all of the light colors in general, all the yellows are dried out. So I just picked four random ones that are not yet dried out and I will use those in my one color book. So that's what's in here. And I thought this was perfect because like while I'm in the airport, I can do the stars. And then once I get on the plane, I can actually use the clipboard with my book. So I'm planning on clipping my book right in there. And this is the one color book I'm bringing, Lion Spots Dots Christmas by Kira Shershnova. I have, I think, nine pages left in here. So I might even be able to finish it. I have no idea. Again, I'm mentioning this before, but I don't know if we're gonna color a ton or not at all. I really think it could go either way because it could just go either way. Like I know that we both chat now and we're always coloring while we're talking to each other so I don't know why it would be different in person but who knows but I think a one color book will be my best bet for the airplane because I won't have to worry about switching colors and things like that so I'm prepared to do four different colors of pages but obviously with one color books I could just do the same page over and over again I was like what the heck is this red line but it's the top of that ziploc bag so that is one of my coloring books I think I've narrowed it down to only bringing four and I think that's reasonable but I don't know you'll have to let me know. I am bringing 50 Halloween miniatures. I was debating which book to bring but if you know me and Halloween miniatures or basically the miniature series in general I basically do every page the same way which is a base coat of Tau Tree markers. Hello where's the one I did? Oh. A base coat of Tau Tree markers, which I am bringing with me, and then glitter on top, which I'm bringing with me. So I figured this would be a nice and easy one to do. And I'm also excited at the idea of only having like one, well, four, but one seasonal book with me because then I can just focus and get a lot of pages done in here, I am hoping. So when we do our live, when we're there, which should be on Friday morning, 
then I will likely be working out of this book. So that's that. I also am bringing Chibi Girls Christmas, which you actually haven't seen me haul yet. This is by April Amber. Uh, she actually has a newer book since then, but this is one of her newest books. And um, we're actually gonna pre-film a video for December because I'm posting every single day in December and I'm gonna have one video with Emily. So I'm very excited and it will be out of this book. So sneak peek, any guesses there. And finally, I decided I need to have some color by number and I was going to do another seasonal one because there's been so many amazing seasonal ones, but I decided to do Dazzling Patterns by Color Questopia. I've only done one book, one page in here so far, and I actually really like a lot of these. And I picked this one because unlike a lot of my other companies, I didn't yet pick a set of markers for this color palette and I just wing it. So I figured with a new set of markers, it would be really easy to wing patterns instead of like actual pictures because like in an actual picture sure you can use any red you want but sometimes some do look weird you know what I mean or like any blue you want but it's the sky so if you do like a weird green blue it might look weird but like with patterns I really can do whatever I want so that is my plan and I really like I said I love this book a lot they just come out with so many so quickly that I haven't gotten to do as many in here as I want that's all the coloring books I'm bringing just those four I'm very nervous I don't know why. Uh, again, we might not end up coloring at all. I hope we do, but we'll see what happens. And I also think that if I needed something that Emily would share with me, I also know like we're both Patreon supporters of Hannah Lynn. So like we could always print those out or something and I think we'd be okay. So, and I feel like Amazon two day shipping, I can always just buy more books, right? So that is that. So if that is all you wanted to see, thank you so much for watching. But now I'm going to go through the huge stack of games that I'm bringing to um, show you. Show you the huge stack of games. And I'm kind of kind of run through all of like what they are because I just think it's fun. And I tried to pick games of all different like game genres so we could try different things out. So if you're interested, stick around. So let's see. All right. Ugh. I don't want to be in camera and I'm terrified you are seeing me right now. I hope you are not because yikes. First off, I always bring a deck of cards wherever I go. I just like, I, that's been instilled in me. So these were actually a gift from a friend. They have turtles on them. So of course I'm going to bring these and I bring cards everywhere. I very rarely actually play cards, but there's so many things you can do with a plain deck of cards if you need to. So I always have that. Then this is one of my absolute favorite games, Sushi Go. It's a like card deck building game and it's hard to explain, but it's so easy to play and so fun. You're basically trying to like make different combinations of sushi to get the most points. And I just love this. And this is like one game that Sam and I can play without getting angry at each other. And that's nice. So I think that it will go over really well. And yeah, it's a lot of fun and it's small and it's quick. And this I'm probably gonna keep in my backpack instead of my actual carry-on, I mean, checked bag. And then we have Fuse. This is a dice game and it is timed. So you only have 10 minutes and as a group, you are trying to diffuse different bombs. Do we have examples? So there are like five different colors of dice and then each little bomb has rules on how to diffuse it. So like I'll roll five and I'll be like, I need that green too. And then Emily will be like, I just need any blue. And so we all kind of pick and get rid of all of our cards. So, and it's 10 minutes, it's quick, it's fun. I love that it's 10 minutes because I feel like sometimes board games in general can drag on, but this one is only gonna be 10 minutes. So even if you do terrible, it will be over quick. And if you love it, you can keep playing and it's easy to play another round. So that's Fuse. Then I have Mysterium Park, and this was actually gifted to me by Lauren at Lauren Loves Color last year for my birthday. And I, this is a, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a spin-off. It's kind of like an expansion. I, it's almost a watered down version. All of these are weird words, wording if you've never heard of it, but basically there is a game called Mysterium that up to like, I think three to six people can play and it's like huge and ornate. And this game, two people can play, which is really exciting because I love Mysterium a lot, but usually it's just me and Sam. So we could never play that on our own. So I never purchased it, but 
Lauren played this one and she said it's great and it's like a mini version and it's a lot of fun and you can play from two to six people. So that should be perfect. And it's just fun. So I really, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Um, one person is the ghost and then the ghost has to tell everybody else how they died and they can't talk. They have to use cards. So hopefully that makes sense, but that's that one. Then I am bringing Letter Jam, which is a word game, and we have examples. Oh, oh, that sounds like a lot's going on in there. What the heck is going on in there? I don't even know. I guess there's tokens. Yikes. Um, yes. So it's fruit theme, first of all, which is why I bought it originally, but... Uh, every person will get a letter and then you can't see your own letter and you kind of have to figure out what letters you have, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. So many games are so hard to explain, but then once you know what you're doing, it's really easy. And I feel like this is one of them. So you, like, I can see everybody else's letter but my own. So they said, oh, the W's first, the A is second, your own letter is third, the fourth and fifth. So you might be guessing, oh, mine must be water. Oh, wait, unless it's, yeah, that's right. It's obviously a T, unless it's a G, or could it be wafer? So you're kind of having to like narrow down what you think yours is and then guess. <laughs> so I hope that makes some sense, but that's Letter Jam. That one's a lot of fun. This is our newest game, and we actually have not played with anyone besides Sam and I, and I love this. I saw this on TikTok, and I knew I had to have it, and it was sold out and sold out and sold out and sold out. And finally, I saw it in Target and I just bought it. But this is almost like categories, but round. So as you can see, this is the board. And what you do is if it's pizza toppings, you say mozzarella and press the M and then you press the timer. And then Sam will be like pepperoni and he'll press the P and press the timer. And then I'll be like anchovies and I'll press the A and press the timer. And you like keep going around until you can't guess anymore. And then whoever like whoever the time dings on is out. And you keep going around and around. And I think this is going to be so much fun with more people. And I cannot wait to play this. So, and like, if you can finish the whole board, you can reset it. And you have to do two at a time. And I just, I cannot wait. And then finally, hopefully the last thing I need to show you, but definitely the last thing I am showing you right now, is Hues and Cues. I thought this was going to be perfect because it is a color theme game for my coloring vacation. So Hues and Cues is a guessing game of colors and clues. So basically the board looks like this background. It's just all of the colors in a row. And on my turn, I'll pick up a card and I'll be like, okay, I need to describe this specific square. So what can I say for that? Oh no, I don't even have an idea. So I can say a one word clue. I might say Navy. So everyone else will put their little tokens on whatever they think I think Navy is. And then I get a two word clue. So I'll be like, help, I don't have another idea. It's too hard on the spot. I'll be like, um... Oh, I don't think I could say navy anyway, because that is a color, so I've already messed up. Let's let's try again. <laughs> I get this one, and I say lemon, and everyone puts their things down, and then I'm like, oh no, they think that lemons are over here, so I'll be like bumblebee wings or whatever, and they'll like narrow it down. If that makes any sense, I don't know. This game is so, so much fun. It can be really difficult to like actually describe the colors, but it's usually really funny. And the more, like up to 10 people can play. And I think I have played with like eight or nine people. And once you have so many people, it's hard because everyone might know it's yellow and there's only so many s squares. So we're all kind of guessing around the same area and seeing who gets the points. So this one is a lot of fun and color themed. So I had to bring that. So that, my friends, is what I am bringing on my colorcation. We have so many fun things planned. I'm going to attempt to vlog something. I don't know how well I'm going to do. It might just be like us coloring in the house. I might try to do like little pictures on Instagram. So follow me over there if you're interested. Who knows? We're also going to try to film for my channel for December, for Emily's channel, and then go live on Friday. So if you're watching this on Wednesday, come back on Friday for our live. And I think that's it. That's all I got to show you. This was a long one, um, surprisingly long. So if you made it to the end, please give a shout out to my girl, Stacy. That will be your code word. So I'm super excited. 
and I haven't gone anywhere in a really long time so I'm actually also kind of nervous for the traveling portion so everyone like send good vibes for that but otherwise thank you so much uh, I'll be back Friday with the live and then I think after that I have a Sam video plan that we already pre-filmed and yes thanks so much for hanging out with me like this video comment anything you want to comment and the secret word Stacy uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye friends.